Hello, I'm FDX Toycat and welcome back to the video. Today I have some pretty good news to share with you all because Minecraft Snapshot 18W098 has just come out for Minecraft on the PC. So the reason that's so exciting is because obviously the Java version is leading the way on the updates Quatic right now. So this is the kind of sneak peek at the next update for Minecraft and all platforms and we get to give it a try right now. So the reason this snapshot in particular is so exciting is because it includes our first ever Minecraft block that can actually die. That's right, coral blocks can actually be dead or alive. It's really weird and they'll die outside water. It's cool stuff we'll be showing off. And then there's also a brand new structure found underwater called the underwater ruin or the underwater village whatever you want to call it but i'm gonna be showing it off in today's video hopefully you all do enjoy so please do like this if you do like it because it helps out the channel a lot and let's do do like these sorts of videos uh, i'll be streaming it more in depth later but i want to show all the features for now just so you know what's going on here because like i said we got five uh, brand new blocks in this update or technically six but we are five brand new blocks in this update and they're all really interesting because they all have the same feature of being the first alive block so again dinamo said it like he's not sure whether they should like eventually be called a mob rather than a block but right now now, they are a block in Minecraft that exists that will die as you take out water. So, show them underwater first because I feel like that's the best way. Here are the coral blocks, as you can see. Uh, they've been toned down significantly since we saw them at Minecon. Maybe there's going to be like other types of coral we see there. But basically, the things we saw at Minecon are not representative for the final product. And I think that's kind of a shame. I feel like at least one of these blocks, maybe all of them, should look like they did at Minecon because, again, I feel like that was a much more visually pleasing block. This is a great block, but like how many builds do you have underwater that need to use them versus how great could a coral be for just having vibrant exciting blocks so yeah I, I really I, I like the idea at the very least the blocks but I think they look better before and maybe there should be like two variants maybe the other variant will come later but right now we've just got a super colorful like not quite concrete replacement but like super neon version of concrete that only works underwater so it's like the opposite of um you know that and like I said it comes in five different variants I'll just show off the last ones here just in case you know you're a real stickler for detail here is yellow and here is purple so you notice all of these colors are also very vibrant and also go together quite well oh that's <laughs> showed off the same one by accident uh but yeah, uh, you'll notice that because uh, they're kind of intended to go that way. Actually, wait, is that a different one? It's hard to be certain the difference between these two. They're very, very close in that way. So yeah, we got red, uh, basically in three different colors, and then we got blue and yellow, the primary colors. Isn't that lovely? So let's go to the surface now. Let's show you what happens if you, uh, you know, you make this coral die. So as long as you place coral in water, um, it will actually be fine. As long as it can touch water, then your coral is okay. So here I, you know, if I wanted to, I can make an entire bridge out of coral if that's my thing. I don't know why it would be your thing, but you can do it, and it looks pretty nice in my opinion. Uh, but if if you met if any at any of those points the coral doesn't touch the water so let's say we place a coral block here and we place one here as well uh, then as you can see this one's no longer touching water so it dies it turns into something called the dead coral block which looks like this and it's really sad and etc but the thing about dead coral is once the coral block dies it can never be brought back to life again it just looks like that permanently it's just permanently gone and it's a really really weird thing so yeah this will auto also just automatically happen if you take the coral out on the surface as you can see yellow coral nope not yellow coral red coral nope dead coral so yeah yeah, uh, dead coral is the only one of these blocks that can be properly used above water. The rest can only be really used on the surface, and even then, only in very limited capacity. And uh, yeah, so you have to use them underwater, or at the very worst, the surface of the water, or just bring some water to them. But either way, you have to do something involving water, or you get this block, which, you know, it's just not quite as fun. Maybe for some of you it is, but it's not. And there's no way to bring this block back to life, even if you place the dead coral in the water, even if, like, yeah, again, water comes back for the coral. So if we place that there, and then one there, you know, just, just to, like, prove the point. Even if water comes back to it on all sides, uh, literally, literally every side, or even on above, it doesn't matter, the coral is dead forever, it's never coming back to life. So yeah, like I said, you have to look off this block or it'll die. You can ruin someone's entire build by like sponging it, which is, you know, I guess leaves room for like grief and accidental grief for yourself. But it is an interesting thing nonetheless. So let's talk about the second thing they added in this update because it is uh, the underwater uh, reef. So let's just uh, quickly teleport myself to one. So here you can see, just below me, I have an underwater structure. It's called the Underwater Ruin in the game files right now. They haven't got an official name for it, so we'll wait until they come out with one. Uh, basically, they look something like this, and this is the structure we previously saw, both in the Instagram teaser, and also um, that Marie Lemon said was like an underwater village. Like, she, she literally said those words. A lot of people like get really like um, defensive about the term, like, no, it's not a village. Um, I guess it depends on how you want to define village, but given that the developers have called it that for now, we'll stick with the name until we have a better one. So as you can see, it's like an underwater thing because you go in here and then you can find chests. So everyone should generate with a chest. At least that's the wording uh, made it sound like, but not everyone does in my experience. Uh, but as you can see inside the chest, you'll find stuff like wheat. You'll find stuff like coal, uh, raw flesh. You know, it's basically the same stuff as temples. But then also you have a chance to get water related items. So this includes a fishing rod with the curse of vanishing. And uh, yeah, presumably this will be the way to find uh, tridents. Again, I haven't found enough of them to confirm that, but I have found at least two of them. So we'll go back to another one. So let's go back over to here. 
let me show you a second one of these, uh, you know, ocean runes, because this one is much larger, but doesn't contain a chest, which again, interesting. Not all of them, they're all meant to contain a chest, not all of them do, they might contain uh, tridents. This is gonna take a lot of looking around because they're very, very different to each other. Like, look how different the one I just showed you is to this one right here. Like, the differences are like, it's it's insane the amount of difference just between one structure to another. And also they all seem to contain gravel on the inside or the relevant block, I should say. So set sand or gravel. So they're not too great on the inside. There's not too much reason to be here unless you already have an underwater thing, which kind of encourages these as a, you know, again, like a, a proper underwater exploration. You need to have some form of water breathing before you come down here. It's not really worth it otherwise, in my opinion. Like again, there, there's some cool stuff here, but you need to have water breathing to come here. And the rewards are sometimes worth it because you might find the fishing rod with the stuff. You might find a trident. And yeah, I feel like they fulfill their purpose in that way. They also look pretty great, as you can see. Looking at all of these right here. And uh, if we teleport and find another one, which I'll do that live actually. Let, let's let's find one right now and see if I can like uh, prove my previous points. So we'll just teleport to like 100,000 blocks in one direction. Then we'll locate another. Again, it's called Ocean Ruin in the game files. And uh, then we'll teleport to that one right there, except slightly above the ground. Again, if you're ever going to do these teleport clicks, make sure you change the uh, height. And then we're going to go down below it. Okay, this is this is where an ocean room is meant to be, but the game is clearly... Oh, we found our first ever, you know, like, <laughs> in the first snapshot video, my third ever one happens to be super, super glitched. So as you can see, the ocean ruin generated in a ravine. Like, that's, that's not everyday normal stuff, I wouldn't say. And if we go inside here, which, you know, you, I'm gonna have to do, uh, it, li it literally seems to be nothing. So maybe there's a chest in here, maybe there's not, I'm not sure. Like, we're, we're running into more and more blocks as we go around the thing. Uh, but yeah, we found something very, very weird with this seed in this particular configuration. So, isn't that lucky? But yeah, this is gonna be something we're gonna, we're gonna have to explore it, because the amount of variants we can, you know, find from structure to structure means that there's no necessarily easy way to do that. So, yeah, before we go, though, I want to talk about a few more things that they did change in this update that they, um... They changed in this update, but they, um, you know, like it's it, not necessarily directly mentioned on the changelog. So chests, because now they do generate naturally underwater. If we find ourselves a chest, uh, you might have spotted it earlier, but all of the chests underwater now work just fine. As you can see, the chest is not like surrounded by an air bubble like it is right now, because again, it's just, it's, it's just natural for that to exist underwater. Uh, kind of exciting if you do ask me. And then as well as that, we also have the fact that um, they've made a few like rendering changes. I pressed that. I was trying to get out of the thing there and I, I typed ooh. Um, I swear it's not some accidental like subliminal message. Or is it? But yeah, uh, so yeah, structures, super, super weird, super, super variants. We're gonna have to do a lot of digging into that. Uh, it's no for sure. Uh, but the other stuff they included is uh, they made phantoms no longer spawn in the end. I think that's temporary because they said they wanted that in the end, but maybe not right now. Um, they made some more changes to the temperature in the oceans. Uh, like I said, there's two different types of underwater ruin, one for sand, uh, hot biomes, and one for cold biomes. And uh, yeah, they've uh, they've made a whole bunch of changes uh, you know, tiny technical changes that we'll be seeing come more. And they also, they very distinctly said that all of the coral blocks will, will, you know, 100% have a naturally generated use. It's just right now they don't. So there's six new blocks in this uh, snapshot uh, that can live and die, but you can't find them naturally. So it's really just like a, a proof of concept more than anything. And just keep that in mind if you do play these snapshots in survival. But again, I would recommend waiting until the full update comes out, like uh, most people are probably gonna do, because that's how you get the best experience of these updates. If you are playing survival, uh, the chance of like a crazy bug happening and ruining it is, uh, less likely and uh, yeah with that said i hope you'll enjoy this video uh like if you did like it because it helps out the channel let's know you do like these snapshot expressions i had a lot of fun with them and i hope all of you did too and uh, like i said later we're gonna be doing like a deep dive into the underwater ruin i love structures in minecraft i love like all the weird things that you can do with them and uh later we'll be looking for all the Look at this, this is the tiniest frozen ocean in the world. But later, oh, I guess it's like little bits of it. But uh, yeah, uh, later I'll be doing a lot of digging into it and you can expect to see uh, that in a new video. So thank you, uh, sorry, in, in the live stream later. Um, and then maybe we could uh, find some of the cool stuff. And uh, yeah, just basically look forward to this. I'm having a lot of fun with it and hopefully all of you do too. But for now, I hope you all enjoyed it because I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.